All right now, I got bags full of things. Head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause beauty is my name. Beauty Gang African Beauty here and today I'm bringing you guys a very exciting video I've been wanting to do for the longest now. I've been seeing these Dollar Tree videos going around and I was like, my mom raised me off Dollar Tree. How did I not think of this first? So I am bringing you guys my first ever Dollar Tree hidden gems, yada yada yada, whatever you wanna call it, haul. I got a lot of stuff I'm excited to share with you guys so I am gonna hop into this video but before I do, if you are new to Beauty Gang and you ain't never heard of us, sis, we don't know where you've been ever. we are so glad that you found us this is Beauty Gang is hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check the comment section below and you will see multiple Beauty Gang members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid lit. So after doing that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's hop into these hidden gems, sis. For the record, I really hope everybody watching this video knows what Dollar Tree is. If for some reason you live on Mars and you have no idea, Dollar Tree is a dollar store that sells everything for a dollar. Simple as that. I am a girl who deals with allergies dang near year round. And it's environmental allergies so like if I'm around dust or pollen or whatever I'm messed up all day. I saw the Dollar Tree had tissue paper but not only was it regular you know tissue paper for the for the nose it's puffs. It is puffs. I was shook when I saw this. Puffs is a name brand honey. Puffs is the brand that bougie parents send their kids to school with when it's back to school season like puffs is that thing so when I saw there was a Dollar Tree I said oh honey I gotta get me some. Puffs is also always very soft on my nose. Now I did not I see that they had the lotion puffs. I do prefer lotion puffs because I be blowing so much my nose starts to get a little you know dry and cracky. But regular puffs will do. Another thing that I found at Dollar Tree is some Epsom salt. Epsom salt was introduced into my life at a very young age. My mom is like the queen of Epsom salt when it comes to baths. And they actually have a lavender scented one so I don't even know if she knows about this but I am very excited to try this. If you don't know what Epsom salt is by the way it's basically a calming and relaxing soak aid for better sleep, gives soothing relief for stiffness, and rejuvenates as well as nourishes. I'm definitely gonna be trying this in a bath. I can't tell y'all the last time I took a bath. I know that sounds awful. Don't do me. I shower every day. But in terms of an actual bath, I haven't done that in a while. And I actually was thinking about doing a pamper routine on my channel really soon. If you want a pamper routine video, give this video a thumbs up. And I will probably incorporate this Epsom salt in the video because you know you gotta take a bath when you're pampering yourself. Something else I was very, very impressed with that Dollar Tree had is Jergens Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash. First of all, I don't even know Jergen made hand wash. Me and Josh are both huge fans of Jergens. So when I saw Dollar Tree had Jergens hand washing soap, I said, oh honey, I gotta get it. And it smells so good. Jergen has such a like fresh baby scent but for adults type energy about it. And I was excited too because Jergens tends to be very moisturizing. And you know whenever you use hand soap and then after you dry off your hands a couple minutes later your hands are cracky and ashy especially if you're black. I feel like this Jergens ain't gonna do me like that. I feel like this Jergens is gonna come through the right way. So definitely a stain there. Another item that I saw that I didn't know Dollar Tree had, they have a Vaseline lip therapy. As a young black girl raised by a black mother, Vaseline was definitely involved in my childhood and throughout my life. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I said, oh, let me find out. I'm so used to having to like scoop it out and put it on my lips. The fact that this is already a little lipstick thing, I am here for it. Matter of fact, I feel like I should try it out for y'all because I've never even tried it before, but as soon as I saw Vaseline, I said, oh, I gotta have it. Look at that, okay, okay. Is anybody else a type of person you can't put on lip gloss without looking? Wow, that just made my lips feel so much more moisturized than the lip gloss I had on. That's ridiculous. Mm. Wow, I like this. This is the move. I kid you not, my lips feel super soft right now. Next thing I got that I don't really use like that, but I felt like it was important to show my beauty again because I know some of you guys be feeling some type of way about discharge. They have always thin panty liners at Dollar Tree. How many come in here? 20 come in here and they're just little mini panty liners that says all day fresh and clean. If you're someone who like really cares about like discharge or wants to save your panties as long as possible, wearing panty liners is probably a good idea and the fact that they have it 
at Dollar Tree and it's 20 to come in here. So if you bought five of them, you get a hundred. That's a pretty good steal because I don't know any always pack that you can get a hundred or something for five dollars. Not always, certainly not always. Next thing I got is this microfiber hair wrap. Y'all, when I get out the shower, sometimes my hair just be too drenched. I be wringing it out sometimes, but it just don't do the trick. So throwing on this microfiber hair wrap will definitely help out. They literally show the steps in the back of how to tie it. And it's dope that it has a button to like, you know, secure everything. Cause you can always throw a little microfiber towel on your head and flip it over, but that only lasts so long. I don't know why they make it seem like in the movies and TV shows that it stays in place. I wonder what their trick is on set. Next thing I got that, mm, sis, if you're one of them girls that is really big on smelling good all day, get you some gain from Dollar Tree. I've used it before. This is actually my second round. I have used this in my most recent lows in my clothes smell in Impeccable. Get you some gain ASAP. One dollar for this. One dollar. You could either buy it in bulk or buy it individual just to try it out. But I'm gonna just let you know now. Don't say African Beauty ain't tell you, and then you go back and they gone. This stuff is the truth. Something else I actually decided to pick up. Oh dang, it didn't work. Here we go. I always wanted to do that. I got it because when I do wear like foundation and then I put on the setting spray and stuff, I be needing something to, you know, fan me. And I just wanted a little bit of pizzazz because I think I'm gonna start doing more makeup videos. And you know, this is pizzazzy, all right? It's real pizzazzy. It's cute though, ain't it? Look at it. Something else I picked up that I feel like a lot of people might not know Dollar Tree has. It's fragrance sachets, sachet, fragrance. I don't even know how to say it. I just know these joints smell so good. When I first ever got it, I put it in my washroom and like sprinkled it over potpourri. My washroom will smell amazing. They actually give you packs of two in each one at Dollar Tree. I got white rose, smells really good. I got amber. Oh, it smells good too. Amber reminds me of like tree bark that smells good or like cabin wood vibes, but if the woods kind of were for breeze. And then I got orchard. Oh, oh, it smells really good. That's like flowers. They all smell amazing, y'all. I can't even say what my favorite is because they all do something different to me. Definitely pick you up some fragrance. Shashets. Shashets. Here, I'll just let you see it because I don't know how to pronounce it. These are what they look like. They can be used in your bathrooms, trash cans, vacuum bags, closets, or gift baskets. Now, I don't know how many of my beauty game members know this about me, but I know if you watch me on Josh's channel, this won't catch you by surprise. I found a Dollar Tree. Some Tyene seasoning. You know how Beyonce has hot sauce in her bag swag? Issa got Tyene seasoning in her bag swag, okay? I love me some Tyene seasoning, especially on fruit. I'm just so obsessed with it. And the fact that it's fun size, I just had to do it. It's just so cute. It's so cute. I love me some Tyene. Something else that I discovered at Dollar Tree. I see it at Walmart all the time and clearly they be overcharging. Mini shot glasses, you guys. There is, how many come in here? 22 of them? Oh wow, there's 22 of them in here and it was only a dollar. Target, Walmart, all the places be trying to charge three to five dollars for these same exact things. They're just plastic disposable shot glass cups. Me and my friends, whenever we turn up on the weekend, finding shot glasses is always an issue for us, so. I got us covered, ladies. I got us covered. Now, you guys are gonna think this is a little bit funny, but I picked up a pill box. Not because I take pills, but because a long time ago, there was somebody that I saw, I forgot who, but somebody would put their lashes in the pill box to keep track of them. When I say I am the worst at keeping track of my lashes, it's kind of like keeping track of bobby pins and ponytail holders. It's just ridiculous. But lashes are a little too expensive for that type of energy. So I decided to get me a pill box to see how it works for me. If it does work, I'ma just keep my and peel boxes to keep up with my lashes because I ain't got no more time for that. So after I'm done today, these lashes are going into Sunday for sure. I thought it was such a cool and dope idea to do to store your lashes. Make sure they stay organized and keep their form. Very smart. Whoever thought of that, very smart. Sorry, I can't remember your name. Something else that I was raised on is footies. Dollar Tree has the best footies, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't always like wearing my good quality socks around the house. Plus my feet get cold pretty fast as well. So footies is definitely definitely a good investment to have. I also know some people that like after they get a pedicure or if they did like a really deep treatment to their feet or something like that, after they moisturize it, they put on footies to lock in the moisture. That'll probably be a part of my pamper routine actually. But yes, Dollar Tree has really cute, really good footies. Something else that I got from Dollar Tree that I think is so important to include in your hygiene routine, they have an oral kit. Now the only thing I use actually out of this kit is the tongue cleaner. Tongue cleaners do 
such a better job at cleaning your tongue than your toothbrush does. I promise you, you will notice a difference in your breath's hygiene when you start using it. It literally feels like I'm starting a completely new fresh slate. After I use my tongue scraper, that's probably how my tongue felt the moment I came out of my mom's womb. My tongue was that clean. That's what this does for me. So I highly suggest going to Dollar Tree and getting this oral care kit. Then you can have this for like a guest toothbrush or a travel toothbrush. Like, you know, it's just nice to have. It's just nice to have. I also went ahead and picked up an exfoliator glove, you guys. Honestly, Dollar Tree proves how much these other stores be ripping people off because at like Target, Walmart, exfoliator gloves are so expensive. Whereas you can go to Dollar Tree and literally get it for only a dollar and it's the same exact type of material. If you don't know the purpose of an exfoliator glove, it basically helps you get rid of your dead skin. It's not something that I would use every day. I would say I would use it like two, three times a week just to make sure I really get in there. Or like a lot of people exfoliate like dark spots on their body. So like let's say if your armpits are dark, exfoliating it consistently will help to brighten it and stuff. So exfoliator gloves are very good and handy thing to have in your shower and or hygiene routine. Then speaking of pamper hygiene, yada 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 routine, I actually stumbled across this silicone facial mask applicator, which I definitely have needed for a long time because whenever I'm putting on a face mask, I always have to end up using an actual makeup brush and then the cleaning process is very annoying because it gets in the actual like bristles. Whereas the silicone one would just, you know, glide on real nice and smooth. So I thought that this was super dope that Dollar Tree had this because I was like, has nobody invented something for face masks? Am I really supposed to be using an actual brush? So I finally have a correct mask applicator. Now something new that I discovered that I was unaware of until now that Dollar Tree now offers wet and wild makeup brushes. I kid you guys not, majority of my makeup brushes are wet and wild. I always get them from Walmart and I think they might be a dollar there, but now that they're at Dollar Tree, even better. So I picked up four of them bad boys. I picked up an angled one, I picked up a crease brush, I picked up a large eyeshadow brush, and I picked up a small eyeshadow brush. They actually had a whole wet and wild section and a whole LA colors section. I didn't even know Dollar Tree was stepping up like that working with these brands. Let me find out. Speaking of LA colors, I saw in this other girl's Dollar Tree haul, she had picked up their lip oil and said that she loved it. So I was like, let me see if she over hyping it or if it's true. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on for you guys right here, right now. I did also pick up Wet n Wild Brown Lip Liner and I think it can be used as a brow pencil as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my typical lip thing using these two. Let's see if they really got the juice or not. Oh wow. That is very pigmented. I did not think it was gonna be that pigmented. Let's try the lip gloss or the lip oil, whatever you wanna call it. First of all, it has like a minty peppermint smell to it. Oh, it's called mint. That's probably why. Ooh, my lips is kind of tingling. What do you guys think? Is it cute or no? Nah? I am pleasantly surprised. I'm actually very impressed by the pencil though because that is like my typical NYX pencil except the NYX pencil was like $3.99 at Beauty Supply Store whereas this one was only a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I might have found me a new lip liner. As for the lip oil, it's okay. I've had better lip oils before but it's not horrible, it ain't horrible. But believe it or not, that is all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want a part two to this, or just want me to keep bringing you guys these type of like hidden gem videos, I can get with that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below either hashtag part two or hashtag more hidden gems, something like that, just to let me know you guys want more videos like this and I will keep them coming because this is pretty nice. I always like buying stuff for myself and helping out my beauty game. But yeah, y'all, that is all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new because Beauty Gang is clearly lit and spilling all the tea on the hidden gems, sis. Until next time, guys. Bye. Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on a day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause beauty is your name